So the Ritz-Carlton model um, has actually become so popular that Ritz-Carlton now has schools where you can come learn the Ritz-Carlton way of service. A couple things that make the Ritz-Carlton model so um, successful is relentless attention to detail. Their training is meticulous. Every member goes through fully documented uh, training programs. They're tested, retested, and they repeat. And what makes it successful is not only the relentless attention to detail, but they look at every guest as an individual person, not a customer, not a client. They're an individual. And one of the things they do um, at the beginning of each shift, which I love, is have a 15-minute team meeting. And there are two things that happen during that team meeting. The first thing is one of the managers will uh, acknowledge someone for an extraordinary act of service so that not only are they recognized among their peers, but they then get to demonstrate for all of the team what extraordinary acts of service are. So people learn from each other. And the second thing they do at the meeting is they describe one guest in detail. And instead of the guest in room 325, they talk about Mr. Smith is here for a business trip. And Mr. Smith comes from California and Mr. Smith is with you know whatever corporation and they they make it personal so they get to know who's in room 325 by his name and who he is as an individual and you know one of the things I talked about in uh, my talks today was how we can take some of the things that make Ritz Carlton so successful and apply that to veterinary medicine and how we can use it to improve our service at the practice.